We're not just attempting to produce principals, we're attempting to produce principals and school leaders who can actually change a school such that it improves student learning. The Center for Urban Education Leadership was founded to try to support the work that we were already doing in the EDD program that produces principles for high-need schools in urban neighborhoods. We have found nothing in the literature or in practice that is more cost-effective at improving the learning outcomes for kids in urban schools, kids in underperforming schools, than putting a very strong principal in place in those schools. We had a long history of an achievement gap at the school for African American and Hispanic students underperforming white students year after year without seeing any growth in that area. When I arrived and I requested lesson plans, there was no coherency. Every teacher was kind of using their own idea. When I came to school, it was the first time that some teachers were ever being officially observed. We're very proud of the fact that we made huge strides in closing the achievement gap last year when it comes to math our African-American students had about an 80% growth in the number of kids hitting their growth targets and our Hispanic students was over 40%. Just a few days ago, I had three students that came down, they went to conference about their teacher and all the things that they wanted to be learning and they felt that their teacher was not providing to them and then I invited the teacher in for that conversation and the teacher's like, okay, I'm gonna try and do better. Those to me are just signs that we're moving in a positive direction. I met with teachers, I observed them and we worked together and I gave them recommendations, I directed them to different resources to be able to become a better teacher. And I was very clear to separate, it's not about them, it's about their practice. Chicago Public Schools have been improving dramatically over the last decade against state norms and against national norms. Even within that context, UIC-led schools in Chicago are outperforming non-UIC-led schools in Chicago on a range of indicators, including standardized test scores, student attendance, freshman on track, graduation rates, and school culture and climate measures. Many programs only get to really understand how they're doing when they have an external program review. With the Center for Urban Education Leadership, we're always being reviewed. And they provide the faculty with data, information, and guidance on how to continuously improve the delivery of the EDD program. UIC's EDD program in urban education leadership has three basic components. A pre-residency that lasts for a semester and a summer, a residency that lasts for a full school year, and a post-residency that lasts for two full years and as much additional time as required to be able to complete a dissertation or capstone experience. When people come into the program, the vast majority of people are coming straight out of a classroom. When they're selected for the program, they're selected because they've had significant leadership roles in their schools. We look for people who have not only the head for this work, but the heart for it. Someone who is coachable, and who reflects on their work and their practice and their development as a leader and developing those dispositions that are important for successful leaders. The EDD program has taught me that this is work that you do not do alone. You do it with a strong team around you. And the strong team is comprised of parents, community, and the students, and the teachers. Each student is assigned a coach who stays with them through the residency and through the post-residency into their new leadership positions. They've done the work. The coaches are former CPS principals who are highly effective and have turned around or transformed schools, have opened new schools. And when you're embarking on something as challenging as leading a school in an urban district, you need someone to tell you what it looks like and where you're off. They spend the time with you to build the relationship and they want to see you succeed. My coach comes every week and she's very real and honest about the conditions of my school. So sometimes when I'm trying to be a little more scholarly about things, she's like, mm -mm, this is the way you need to handle this. That's just been tremendous and I've really appreciated that part of UIC support and the structuring of the program. Sometimes you're so wrapped up in the work that you don't even remember that when you got here, no one would talk to you. The coach would come in and remind you that meeting was great. Like, I remember when you first got here and no one would talk. And now you, you barely could get in everything you needed to. 
Moving ahead, the goals of the center are pretty clear. One is we continue to support the improvement of the EDD program so that we have a higher and higher percentage of principals who are having a profound impact on student learning in schools. Secondly, we are set up to publish research on what we're learning about what those principals do. And thirdly, we are set up to work with other states and national organizations to help drive principal preparation policy in a direction that's going to produce principals who actually can meet the learning needs of kids in the nation's schools. Because we are one of the few programs reporting out to the broader principal preparation community what it is that we're doing and what it is that we're finding about our work, we're hoping we'll build a network of programs around the country that through our conversations we'll keep getting better at this business of preparing school leaders.